Um, take that flower. Take that. Take that. Nom 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 nom. Where are you at, Rocket? Oh. Can you see it over there? You can probably barely see that going up. Here, now it's centered. You see the little light going up? <laughs> it's a white dot. We got him to wake up. <laughs> There's two treats. Here's the third treat, Watson. Watch your head. Nah, we'll go for a good walk when I get home. Here's four. They're just little kibbles. And then here's five. Maybe I should um, imagine waking up from a nap like this and just having treats chucked at you from a machine. But there's all five treats. <laughs> Let's watch them finish them all the treats. <laughs> That's what a Falcon 9 looks like coming back in. I know we all hear about supersonic retropropulsion. That's what it looks like from this angle. Not wild. And then it goes into a cloud right when the engine cuts. Pretty neat. Oh my gosh, there it is. Check that out. There it is. Oh, did it just eat something? The spots are actually green too. Wow, look at that. There's our best focal point. This is an American Kestrel. Oops, I hit the tripod, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get in perfect focus here. That's it right there. This is full zoom. Actually, that's full zoom. There we are. So cool. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for that raid. I'm trying not to hit the support beam on this bridge right here. I'm Dr. V40. If you don't know who I am, you, you might if you come from a science channel. Um, oh, there's a whole bunch of little bugs crawling up that. And a jumping fish. This is the kind of content we have on this channel. But yes, I teach anatomy, physiology, genetics, immunology, and I bring educational content to Twitch, mostly outdoor nature content like jumping mackerel. That was a big one too. And here is a beautiful sunset with me in the way to ruin it. Welcome everyone, and thank you for that raid. Oh my god. Um
I have no idea what this is. Let's see, it has some writing on it. Sorry about the wind. Oh, let me look at it a little closer. So I'll do it this way. So right here is what we found. Found a sweet wrench. Inside there. I'm just uh, getting set up here. Oh, we're good. We are on a little bit right, but we're good. Andrew, thanks for the raid, man. You're making me switch to the now live scene early while I'm still getting my gear set up. Welcome, everyone. How are you doing today? So I'm getting my stuff set up here. Is that Daisy I see in there? How's everyone doing? Just getting my uh, camera gear all set up. It's a big thing. You're a real doctor. Uh, PhD, not MD. I won't be able to check any gross. Ooh, I might need a new micro cable right there eventually. It's starting to get bent. Is there a launch site? No launch. Birds will be launching. That's about all. Let's put this in. Battery good to go. Yeah, we should be able to see some good birds out here today. What were you guys up to? Were you guys doing street photography? Or, or were you playing Grand Theft Auto? I think last time I saw Andrew online playing Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Burbs and Crocs. Yeah, we will see. Um, I mean, it is expensive equipment, but... I saved up appropriately for it. I have a job to support me financially. So, as long as you have that stuff, you can enjoy your hobbies, right? Editing photos, nice. Man, the Florida humidity has like a layer of stuff. What's up, TJ? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Daisy, I haven't seen you live for a while. How have you been, man? Let's go see some Crocs. Oh, I, where'd my HDMI cable go? Oh, it's way over here. Let's might, might as well get this plugged in here. Boom. How cool the VOD one works. Oh, we have trivia today too. There we go. Camera. Oh, should be. Relatively okay. What's up, Janet? How are you doing? We are getting a late start out here, but as you all know, I am pet sitting this weekend and I have to check on those pets at like 7.30 in the morning. So I'm worried about that dark cloud over there. Um, radar is weird this morning. Sometimes morning radar in Florida can be odd with all the humidity on the radar showing up too. Alrighty. But yeah, if you are here from Andrew Neff's stream, stream, welcome. I'm Dr. V40. We're just getting started today. Uh, today we're out here at the wetlands in Florida. Blue Heron. So much stuff just to start out right here. They haven't mowed this perimeter berm in a while. Those ospreys look like they're hunting too. Yeah, let's start here. Looks like we can see a little bit. I'll walk down here a little bit to get away from the main entrance. I was heading out, oh, but this could be, oh, if you're gonna head out, head out. What's up, John, how you doing? Had some personal stuff going on, hope you're back soon. Oh, it's great to see your name, Days. Hope that personal stuff gets figured out and isn't too crazy. Right, let's set up right here. All right, so. 
always great when we have much wind. Let's see here, let's zoom in. Heron going I hear a gallon yolk somewhere. And too bad those um away. One second. I'll wait until something comes into the camera a little better before. All right, let me know if sounds, um, the, the RTMP source. Still dropping out. Oh, uh, there could be some interference, maybe. To figure this out. So, boom, we'll leave it right there. Has it been doing this whole time, or did it just start? I don't know where the cable would be loose. That's the problem. Um, one way to figure this out, though. Let me, it's going to mute. Okay, now audio is coming through my Nikon. Um, how does audio sound coming through the Nikon? If it's still stuttering through the Nikon, that's not my wireless system. So if it's still stuttering, that's something else, because this is the Nikon. Nikon is fine, okay. So now back with the wireless source, how's this one sounding? Okay, up with UHF, I could turn it off and turn it on again, let's try that, sometimes that works. Alright, one second, audio will be back. Okay, turn it off, turn it back on. Let's see. Good morning, Ava. Wider. Yeah. Nikon picks up a lot of noises. Oh, yeah, I was doing a big stream. All right, we'll see what happens. I'm plugging and plugging everything back in yet. Still cutting out? Is it? Okay, I unplugged it, plugged it back in. I don't mess with any of the other things. I charged all the batteries, so it's not a battery. I didn't change anything. Nothing changed from yesterday. Let's just move and see if it's at. The whole time, too.
Well, that was an Inhinga over there. There's, there's a lot of stuff here, but I just want to move to see the audio. I don't really want to change the channel on the fly because I haven't practiced changing the channel too much on them, and I don't want to screw it up and not be able to get it back. <laughs> Seems good now. Yeah, might have just been some weird cable. Maybe something was pinched the way I was standing there. We'll see. <clears throat> worst comes to worst, I can just send all audio through my Sony. So. It could have just been a little bit of interference right there in that spot, too. So we'll see what happens when we start going out and about. What's up, Adam? Never mind, it's still happening. Huh. It's weird. Is it? So it's like cable loose cutting out. I didn't do this yesterday. Nothing was different either. Huh. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't seem too horrible, we'll continue. Let's see. Any oh, there's Ospreys over there now. Clapper rail? Where? I don't think I've seen a clapper rail here. Or is that that noise right there? I think that's the grackle. That sounds like the grackle right there. Yeah. Something hitting the mic? I don't think so. The mic's right here. I can change the mic position. Maybe it's moving a little bit. Let me change that just a little bit and see what happens. Alrighty. Let's see what birds are going on here. Yeah. As soon as I raise my arm like this, now you're going to make me move in weird ways. Is it this? Congo wombats. No. I have not. <laughs> Or like when I raise the right arm. Maybe I am blocking the signal. Let's see. We got ourselves. We'll switch to this. Shane and Jackie, thanks for the follow. Welcome. You guys, you're, you're, you're streamers, aren't you? I think so. I think I've seen your name around before. We see this one a lot. This is a common gallinule. Let's see if I can add it. Jack, add a common gallinule. A little bright, but we get some nice mirror effects this morning. Look at that, look at the mirror. Isn't that cool? Pretty bright on me right now, so I have a, a glare, so hopefully it's good for you. And that did. Oh, I used to have a $10 HDMI switcher. It would gray screen, audio would cut. Um, exclamation point, Black Magic. I use the Black Magic A10 Mini for my HDMI switching now. 
It makes it a lot cleaner and allows me to have one audio source coming in. Yeah, I used to do use I taped an HDMI switcher to the side of my live view, and that's how I used to switch scenes. I was reading something about this one. It's called the Swamp Hen or something like that. Pond Hen. Sometimes it's called that. What's up, Shane and Jackie? Oh, yeah, there's Check Marky. All our streamers. I thought I recognized that name. Hope you're doing well today. Welcome to Florida. Related to the Swamp Hens. Yep. I added a whole bunch of books to my wish list. Um, one is, uh, are Florida birds, uh, Florida butterflies, Florida dragon, well, East Coast dragonflies and damselflies, um, and then Florida wildflowers, and then growing a butterfly garden. <laughs> I was on Amazon adding things to my wish list last night. Swamp thing. Oh, thanks for the shout out for them. Not sure if I might need to go follow. All right, so there's that. And we did look at it in Inhinga earlier, but I was more focused on the audio blips we were having. But right here is another one. Look at that reflection. That's a good angle right there. It's like the Batman. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a quick demonstration on how I uh, switch. I just have it. It's not meant to be on the side of a backpack, but I got it to work. Oh, you see something? Just go, uh, go under water right there. Is that a little... Oh, what are you? I was being shy now. Whatever it was, is being shy. Good shot of an Inhinga, though. Jack, add an Inhinga. I know, right? Uh, difference between Cormorant and Inhinga? So the main difference that I use to tell them apart is the beak. Inhinga, oops, sorry, tripod is locked. Inhinga have the pointy beak. Double-crested Cormorant will have a curve at the end, a hook. That's what I used to tell them. I haven't seen a cormorant out here in a while. Ooh, look what just surfaced behind. Durdum, durdum, dur 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 dum. Welcome to Florida, everyone. Yep, normal part of Florida. Good old gators. Oh, there goes a glossy ibis. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. It is right there going. Or the glossy ibis. But over here, let me check on the ospreys hunting. Jack, add an osprey. Right, I'm going to focus on tracking for a bit. That's a good shot of it flying by. Come on, do a dive. Find a fish. Find a fish. You know you want to. You know you want to. Uh-oh. Isn't that cool? Right. 
down here. Let's get a little reset here. And look around to see what else we can see. What's up, Queenie? How you doing? Also, okay, so it didn't add the Inhinga. Jack, add an Inhinga. Unless I didn't use an in it. Jack, add an Inhinga. Alrighty, let's... So this Osprey's still hunting over here. I haven't got an Osprey dive in a while. I oh, don't know. There we go. It's taking a. Oh, it got a broken tail wing. I would fly real far away. No, that's an action. That's his uh, primary wing. It's not tail. Look at that. Look at the feather sticking up. I mean, it's of course doing just fine. And you got a little tussle or something. Feathers naturally come off. All right, as soon as I get them on cam, they fly really far away. I want them to dive in the pond in front of me. But they fly off down to the other one. We'll find them again later. Let's move on. Yeah, hopefully we could see some today. That would be sweet. Let's go check out bird. Oh, now, they're, now, now it's coming back, of course, as soon as I turn the camera off to move. Uh, no crocodile, just alligators. Crocodiles are down in the Everglades. I don't like those dark clouds, but we shall continue on. I have my umbrella. Uh, has audio been acting nominal now? Nominal enough? Ooh, tricolored heron standing right there, and it's off. We'll get one on cam here soon. Morning. Good enough. Okay, so it is still doing it, though. Um, good enough means I don't have to... Um, troubleshoot it right now and just it might be a one stream sort of thing Harley girl thanks for the follow welcome okay last time we saw the least the bittern over here something just flew up into that tree not a great sun angle, this direction. Is this a red-winged blackbird? I think so. I'm going to zoom in here just to check. It's not a great sun angle. We'll have... This is a red-winged blackbird. Oh, never mind. It flew down. I think it was a red-winged blackbird. I saw a flash of red. Could have been an American red start, too. Not with each other. Nope, not that I know of. I don't think they can hybridize. All right, here's a good shot of a great blue heron with some mirror reflection. Let's check this out. And then I can, we can cross off all the egrets on Bird Island over here. What's up, Warhorse? How you doing? Let me zoom in. And great blue heron. I guess it's not perfectly focused. Super um, overexposed right now. Let's see if I can bring that down just a tad. Jack, add a great blue heron. 
Oh yeah, we can play Bingo 2 today. I don't think I put that in the title, did I? Bird stare. Oh no, my shoulder cam is crooked. How long has my sh shoulder cam been crooked? Let me fix this a second. There we go. Good enough. Oh no, don't ban myself. All right, let's check out Bird Island. Oh, we have a tricolored heron. It just flew by right there. Oh, it landed and then flew off. <laughs> Saw me after landing. We'll probably find one over here on Bird Island. So that's start up here. Where are you landing right there? Is that I Ibis? Not a young ibis, young white ibis. I don't think it's a glossy. Pretty sure it's a white ibis. Just a younger spotted one. That was the easiest bingo ever. I know. Right? <laughs> you already got bingo. Is this glossy? I can't tell. There's some glare on my screen because the sun is behind me. American bin chicken. White is correct. Uh, Jack, add a white ibis. Yeah, right there is more what they look like. They got that notorious big orange beak right there. And thanks for the follow. Oh, those are young ones. Jack, add a white ibis. So there we have the ibises. There we have the black vulture. Jack, add a black vulture. Oh no. I itched my face. Hope you're ready for bingo. Oh, there's another ibis. I see a red head. If we can, oh, what do you have right here? I see, oh, d don't let this one fool you. Uh, the beak doesn't have that. Okay, no, this is a snowy. Jack, add a snowy egret. See if we can focus back there. There it is. So now there is another uh, vulture. It has a red head. That's a turkey vulture. Jack, add a turkey vulture. There we go. There's another anhing. Is that anhinga or a vulture? No, nope, vulture. What were you? Show yourself. Show yourself. What are you, actually? You went to the other side. Actually, what was that? That wasn't a night heron, was it? I think it went to the other side. Black crown night heron, was it? Oh, I haven't seen one of those and we didn't get a great, good enough shot of it. We might be able to get it when we walk around. That was the first time I've seen one out here. Like I know they're out here.
That's a tri-colored heron right there. He doesn't look happy. That's like my morning face. Jack, add a tri-colored heron. Oh, let's see if we can find that black crown night heron again. First time I've seen one on stream. Well, I noticed one in real life too. That's a female boat-tailed grackle right there. Jack, add a boat-tailed grackle. I've seen a whole bunch of those already. Cattle egrets. Okay, right there they are. Oh, look at that feathering right now. The orange colors on the head. Jack, add a cattle egret. Oh, did, or did you just want bingo? Pizza, did you just want bingo? Is that why you told me to get the cattle egret? Or did you actually want to look at the, the mating plumage? <laughs> Already had bingo. Sure. Might as well get the other egret. Where's the great, where's our great egrets? I don't see any right there. Ibises, cattle egrets, ibises. There's a bunch in here. We need more birds on the card. Yeah, we need more. <laughs> what are they doing? Are those kids? Oh man, they're fighting. That's a cattle egret on top. I wonder if that's uh, maybe babies or something like that. Yeah, these are fighting cattle egrets. Or are they mating? Sometimes when birds are fighting, they're actually mating. Yeah, that. Okay, so those are young ones practicing flying. Fuzzy-headed young flappers exercising their wings. Okay, that was my other thought. Kind of like the when the eagles. <laughs> mom, mom, what are these? Do I need to flap them? How do I fly? That's pretty wicked, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes if you just beat your wings hard enough, you just end up flying everyone. You just gotta you just gotta keep at it, keep flapping, keep bobbing that head, and you'll eventually get it. You'll eventually take flight. Never give up. Cattle regrets have a dark beak when they're younger too. There was some sort of grunt that just happened over there. Look at them all in there. Oh, we have um, an ibis flying in right there. Where's it going to land? And I missed it. Did I miss it? Yep, it went behind. We already saw those ones. There's all the flappers. We're going to eat through this battery today. There's some more flappers. Everyone's out flapping today. All the kids are growing up out there. Oh, there's some tricolored herons creeping in.
good shots of some tricolors right there. Another tricolored on top there. A whole bunch of flappers. All right, let's switch back for a minute. Flourishing. I know, right? Food deliveries, they are a bit violent. Jeez. RTR, thanks for the follow. Let's give the camera a break. My back is also in the sun here. So that's where my modems are. And with low wind like this, sometimes the modems get hot and turn off. So. Dang, I want a better shot of that black crown night heron now. Oh, this camera's pointing a little bit down now, huh? Black vulture flying off right there. And Hinga flying. See a gator over there. That black crowned night heron kind of flew around to the front of this island over there. I got this shot of a, a great blue heron right there. Pretty neat, right? You see it down there? In the shadow of the, uh, the fronds moving by it. Don't need to zoom in on that one to appreciate it. Okay. I kind of want to see a double crested cormorant today because I haven't seen one for a while. I think there are yellow crowns here. I think they've been spotted before. It's just tough because now is when they go to bed, right? Because they usually hide during the daytime and they come out at night. I wonder what it would be like to just like walk inside that island there. There'd probably be so much poop in there. <laughs> that heron's like, I hate you all. Coming to Skunk Ape Convention in Tampa? I don't think so. Never heard of that. Thumperstein, thank you for the follow. Yeah. All right, there's a little indent here. I think I'm gonna zoom in to just inside the trees over here, just to see if that night heron is somewhere visible. I can't see anything from here. Island made a poop, yeah, pretty much. And the ospreys are hunting in this pond now too, so maybe we can capture that. But I'm just gonna zoom in to the dark areas and see if anything pops up here. Not sure if I'll spot anything new. So up there is Anhinga. Check focus, let's just, I wanted to go back in here. Hoping to see something deep 
in there are hiding. Now you guys might be able to see things before me. But I'm not seeing anything. Those are all vultures up there. Nice magnolia tree in there. Either. Something in there. Can't make it out though. Not sure. My Schubert, thanks for the follow. Yeah, we tried. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything in there. Oh, dang it. Oh. <laughs> Saw a black crowned night heron for a second. Oh, really? In, on the island over there. Oh, wow. Is that the 600 millimeter? Yeah, yeah. That thing's massive. I've never seen that in person. Oh, uh, yeah, the 2 to 600. Yeah, a friend of mine just got it and sent pictures of it, and it's just yeah, insane. It's, it's super cool. I'm waiting for that sucker to dive for fish. Yeah, they haven't dived I got, yet. I got him um, a couple of weeks back. Did you? Oh, what a great pick, man. He, But he dove, and it was right behind like this sawgrass, but I mm -hmm. got him coming up with a big old fish. And it, nice. Yeah, yeah, it is an epic shot. I've been trying to get a video of one diving here for a while. Yeah, I haven't gotten one yet. Really, I've been finding this is been the really the best spot as of late because i've been down yeah. to pelican island refuge mm -hmm. sebastian inlet um i go to the stick marsh um and i've been down around some of the lakes by uh, blue cypress mm -hmm. you know and even in like the central florida area i mean that's it's spots out there that people from all over the world go to but yeah. it's been quiet but this has been you know pretty consistent there's always solid stuff here <laughs> yeah there is man. yeah that, you know it's just always been very consistent. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll show you that shot I got. It's, it's pretty sweet. Uh, a couple of them. Let's see. This might be hard to see, but oh wow, that is a good one. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, it was pretty epic the way he goes. <laughs> I got some. I got some. I, I thought he was going to go. Uh, Sebastian Lund did some pretty good shots, too, but yeah. it's been quiet. Um, yeah, there's... Here, they've, they've been hunting um, pretty often, mm -hmm. at least in, in the morning time. Yeah, I always see them flying around hunting here. There's always a couple. That one has a a wing feather. Yeah, the it's, feather's sticking up yeah. on it. I, I caught that. Yeah, I saw that one earlier. Yeah, right now I'm wondering if that the black crown is going to come out again. Usually you never see them, because no, it's daytime. I, I know, I know. <laughs> it was on a perch. I got it for half a second. I... Uh, and then cool. it jumped down. And I was like, oh. Yeah. oh, I I live stream. That's oh, oh no, you're fine. You're fine. I don't mind interacting with people. Um, but yeah, it's all like a live nature documentary thing that I do. Mm -hmm. So I, I I wish I could focus more on like taking pictures, but all my stuff is like live video oh, stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. You know? I, I thought about it too, getting something really high quality from a video perspective. Mm -hmm. And maybe just shooting video and then seeing what kind of stills I can get from that. But yeah. it's usually not that good. No, right, so. no, usually because it's like with 60 frames per second mm -hmm. max, yeah. so that's not a great shutter speed for moving things. Exactly. <laughs> but all right, I'm sure we'll cross paths again. Right, good luck. On, Mike, are you here? <laughs> yeah, all my view bots here, right? Good morning. Good morning. You'll see that two, two hundred to six hundred millimeter lens though. Oh. 
There was just something perched in here. Okay, if I don't think it's that flying off though. I was hoping to get it. Oh yeah, but definitely nice, nice guy. He had a really good. I don't know if you could see the shot that he showed me. I hope there wasn't too much glare on it. Let me see if I can make out whatever I saw in here. It might have flown off. Because this is the sort of spots uh, Lee Spitterns like to hide. And I haven't gotten a great shot of one yet. No, that was just a female grackle in there. I can show you what I'm looking at. Female grackle hopping around in there. Saw some movement. Couldn't see his picture, dang. Well, it was a good shot of a um, osprey just after diving with a fish. So yeah, um, I don't see them flying now. I'm gonna go check the island again. <laughs> Have a good one. Got some flapping going on in there. Nope, not really seeing anything. A lot of stuff in there, but I think those are Inhingas in there. Oh, that's an Inhinga nest right there. Oh, it's on its nest. Look at that. Pretty neat. I have a big glare on my camera though, on my screen. All right, let's switch back. Oh, too bad Mike wasn't here listening when I saw the lens he just got in person. Mike, remember when you were complaining about needing a, a, a monopod because you couldn't hold it? That guy's a champ. He's walking around without anything holding it. So, yeah, Mike, what now? Mike's not even here to defend himself now. Got some dragonfly action. And there's a peacock butterfly right there. Maybe it shall land for us. Landed right there. It's probably take off again now. See him get a shot of it. Free handing 600. Tell that to Mike. He doesn't. He he bought a monopod for it because he can't handle it. All right. Uh, here we got a white peacock. Butterfly. See, focus, there we go. I'll zoom in a little bit more. Captain Jack, take a picture. I got a monopod for my biking. Okay, that's a good shot of a butterfly right there. Come on, open your wings back up. You know you want to. So if you all, if anyone's new here and you're in the Discord, that picture should auto post to the Discord as well. If not, right there is the uh, Imgur link for you. Oh, sorry. Let me. I'm just trying to get greedy with the focus and zoom here.
Yeah, it's slightly off, isn't it? If only we could see in the UV like they see. Really, they see in the UV. That's neat. By the way, any of those pics are, they're not like high quality or anything, but feel free to download them and keep them for yourselves. I don't mind. It's not like they're super high res or anything. The dragonfly. This one. Let's see. Got the white tips. Is this? Uh, I always guess four spotted pennant. It's because they're so common out here. I'll take a picture of this one too, just to store it. Um, Captain Jack, take a picture. Looks fantastic on phone. Nice. I don't think I activated it. Captain Jack, take a picture. Those people were walking by and talking, so it probably got in the way of my voice recognition. There it is. It's got a little bit of blue on it. Let's see if it lands back in the same spot. There it is. I love when they do that. Yeah, got a little bit of blue. Yeah, a whole bunch of dragonflies perched up right here. Let's see if they're all similar. Oh, no, this one is slightly different. It's got, no, could be just more pronounced darker spots there. Still got those white spots on the tips. I think this is a similar one. These are all four spotted pennants, right? That one doesn't have those dark spots on it though. It has the white spots, but not those dark spots like we just saw in the other one. Yeah, they're, they're different. Same species. Could that be the difference between male and female there? Because they both had the white uh, tips on the wings though, but that one has dark spots on the wings. This one doesn't. So that's the difference between male and female. Neat. So does the uh, male or female have the dark spots? Just because this guy was on cam already. Mike, since you're back. Look at this guy walking without a monopod with the 200 to 600 millimeter lens. So look at that. Get good, Mike. We just met him earlier. <laughs> Wait, that one is different. Dang on it. Oh, it's focused on the water. One second. Well, that one is different. The uh, wing tips don't have white spots on them. They're dark spots. And it's fluffier. Oh gosh. Yeah, that was the 200. We talked to him earlier. You weren't here. I asked him about his lens. I'm not sure on this one. I don't know, he showed me a really, really awesome shot of a diving osprey grabbing a fish. So, yeah. All right, let's move on. It just flew away anyway. Ooh, my calves are going to have a burn from the start today. The sun's been on the back of my calves this whole time. Uh, Rodimus, it is 9.13 a.m. What time is it where you are? People needing favors in 
quotes. What sort of favors are you providing, Mike? I've got a gas supply issue, so I'm only here waiting for the... Oh, geez, half here. No. I hope it works out, Colleen. We have not made it far yet, this stream. <laughs> Good, morning. Good morning, how are you? Hello. In France. Nice. Well, that's who I, uh, Is, you just made me think of the Euro final. Is the Euro final Sunday or today? On this day of your daughter's wedding? Borrow tools, help with massive projects, which will just me. Do you still do the um, give me 20 bucks as a deposit when you borrow my saw so that you bring it back? It's <laughs> actually a great idea. I let someone borrow my hand tiller and I still haven't gotten it back. Granted, I am watching their pets this weekend and I am going over to their house twice a day and I could just grab it from the garage, but... <laughs> Okay, Sunday. I know, right? It's like they should be DMing you in Discord all the time. That's what real friends do. About things to buy on Amazon. Oh, speaking of Amazon, I might as well do hashtag ad right now, exclamation point Amazon. I don't know what it's going to do or how it really works, but Mike told me to create an Amazon affiliate link so that if you're in the States and you buy stuff from Amazon.com, and you go to the Amazon homepage via my link, so you can bookmark it as your new uh, Amazon bookmark. Anything you buy, apparently I get like 2% commission from, which is kind of neat to think about. That's crazy, Mike. So yeah, you share that. Go change all your, your mom's. Oh, there's a diving osprey. It got a fish too. No. Let's see if it drops fish. It was the one with the broken wing. If it helps with stream. Yeah, no, no, because you know how you all know how I feel bad about uh, you subscribing and things like that. So. Um, if you're buying something already and you can support Jeepsland me on the side and you want to support me, just subscribe. that will help. Oops. Oh, jeez. Godzilla, thank you for the subscription. I just said you don't have to do that here. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's coming home. Oh, no. Yeah, who's, what's, who's everyone rooting for? But yeah, I don't see your names, you don't see my names, it's just like you're buying anything from Amazon normally. Except, you can, I get a really small percent, so it helps a lot. And if you tell your friends and family to change their Amazon bookmark to that URL, you secretly are helping me too. So, little things like that, so that when you buy um, 200 to 600 um, lenses off Amazon, I get a little kickback from it. Yeah, win-win. And also, you know, a lot of people don't use those referral codes because, like, you don't want to be, like, seen buying something. I might be able to see the list of what everyone buys, but it doesn't say you bought it or anything like that. So this is fair trade. <laughs> well, I appreciate it nonetheless. You know that. And you get some Zoom emotes. So I guess there are some benefits now, being able to use no fear, the animated emotes. Cheered. X okay, that Osprey flew off. I, I was hoping it would and come back. The lens so you can yeah, get we missed the dive. Why are you giving 100 bits? I am not returning and repurchasing the lens. Oh yeah, you got it from a different source, didn't you? Yeah. You should.
but you just gave me a dollar by telling me that I'm not getting some dollars. But yeah, I won't sell that uh, too much. Um, just the link exists if you're buying anything off Amazon. My bot's always running in chat. If you forget the link, you can come back and do exclamation point Amazon. And that can be your bookmark too. Whereas the emote extends more and more every time I see it, it gets bigger and bigger. I toss some change at you. Oh yeah, I probably would have gotten at least like $10 from that lens purchase. <laughs> Uh, you can't make purchases in UK. I'd have to make a UK store. So I had to, I'd have to make another affiliate code, Amazon.co.uk, and fill out all the forms again for it. And then if I do UK, I think it, I don't know how it works in Europe actually. Can people in Sweden buy things from .uk or is there a .sweden? URL for their Amazon. So that's why I said just the states right now. See how it goes. If it's not worthwhile, I'm not going to do the other one. And I don't know if that's considered making money from overseas then, if that complicates taxes and all that crap, you know, that sort of stuff. That would make taxes tricky. Yeah, it's, <laughs> let's be real, that's one of the main reasons I don't want to do it. Say I make, you know, 50 bucks off of it, cool, but then if it causes $50 in headaches on taxes, not cool. Oh, got an Osprey attempt at a dive down there. Might be able to get a good angle over here. I can't find anything on it. Ugh, taxes. <laughs> and you. Oh, there's black bellied whistling duck just flew by. Oh, the osprey got one. There it goes. Oh, it's flying back in toward, towards the sun. Don't do it. Nah. Flying too far off now. Shucks. Never mind. Find some worms. Class as a foreign agent. All right, it just got toasty out. Captain Jack, check weather. I bought a mouse on it once, ten dollars cheaper than local stores. Took a week to get me from Barcelona. Jeez. So we're super spoiled with Amazon here in the States. Um, I have a warehouse not that's within distance of their delivery vans. So if the item I order is at that warehouse, I get it next day. I've ordered stuff at like eight o'clock at night and got an 11 a.m. the next morning. <laughs> it only says 81. Oof, I just got hit by some sun then. Morning. Let me get a shot some black bellied whistling ducks over here.
But I can still buy on Amazon and have it sent to my U.S. forwarding. Oh, okay, that's true. Then you have to pay overseas shipping, which... Could be a good shot of a black-bellied whistling duck here. Good sun angle. Amazon Japan thinks they're the same day and that's not even prime now. Really? That's impressive. They have a, a, an interesting call to them. It's like a, when they flew over, I'll try to point it out next time they fly by. I don't think I have this one in my list. I'll try it though. Jack, add a black bellied whistling duck. Yeah, I don't have that one in my list. Captain Jack, take a picture. They're pretty cool. Good job, salad skill. You might be able to kind of hear it there. I don't know if you could hear that in the background. We got got a young anhinga sitting right here too. Got the white neck. We got an osprey flying behind me now. Also, there's some back there, but I got some limbs in the way. The yeah, sun angle's not great this direction, but if I see a diving osprey, I will switch to it. Looking like it wants to. Dang! Look at that. No, it dropped it. Oh! <laughs> Let's see if it gets it again. Now the sun angle's not good here. So we got a silhouette of an osprey. See if we can get a good diving shot. All right, it's doing the hover. It's doing the hover, I think it's about to go. Nope. Decided against it. Don't fly into the sun. Stop flying that way, stop flying that way. Don't go any higher, don't go any higher. Okay, come back. Good, 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 good. No fear, 72,784 cheered. X100, F-O-M-O. -O. Don't distract me. Stop with the bits. No fear, 72,784 cheered. X100, F-O-M-O. F-O-M-O. No fear, 72,784 cheered. X100. You're a goober. Stop it. We can't see. No fear, 72,784 cheered. X100. You're a goober. We You're... can't see. Did I not switch? Did I not switch cams? Mm. Well, 
I'm glad it didn't. I didn't want to show the osprey diving and catching that fish anyway. Why would I want to show anything like that? That would sound like something stupid to show. I hit the button, it just didn't switch cams. No. It actually got the diving shot too. And I've been tracking it. Wow, that's embarrassing. So I was just doing this the entire time. Well, shucks. Maybe we can get another dive here. Is this, I think it's just a light. This is an osprey, right? The light's just making it look dark. I think. Because right now we're looking kind of like into the sun angle, so it's just a silhouette. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Oops. We were texting you. <laughs> it dropped the fish anyway after it caught it, so take that osprey. Fish sticks. That's how it works though. As soon as you get a good shot, uh, you're not actually on the correct cam for that good shot. Let's see. I'm gonna get a dive now. It's out there hunting. It's gonna dive eventually. Just the question is, will we be able to see it? This is the issue. So I'm gonna stay zoomed out here and kind of watch and see if I can spot any about to do it. I was not, not even flying over the correct spot right there. All right. I have a feeling it's gonna see one. And it's flying back over to here now. Hello, Anhinga. Doesn't that seem too dark to be an osprey? That's just a vulture. It's not gonna dive anyway. All right, let's switch cameras back. Oh yeah, there's gators out there. Yep, gator right there. I don't know if you're trying to troll with gator in the water, but yeah, gator in the water. There's one there, one over there, there's one over there. They're not gonna bother me though. Cause I don't bother them. Well, yogurt, um, too bad I screwed up and we got an osprey dive, but it wasn't on the correct cam. So you showed up at just the right time.
because I'm not going to screw up any more of this stream, of course. No, sure, I was just letting you know for the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah, we see gators a lot, so I don't show them too much. Always the right time with your stream. <laughs> Super cool this morning. I mean, the uh, Osprey dive was really neat, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Osprey dive was really neat. Trust me. It did drop the fish, though. So I was hoping it would dive again, and then it didn't. Oh, yeah, all the vultures are moving over here. Vultures make it tricky when you're trying to track an Osprey, and it's just silhouettes of birds and they're all dark so you can't differentiate them as easily it does say 925 okay well I got something there there we go we're back yeah, we saw a night heron for about two seconds. I'm going to look into this island again when we're over here. I wonder why... I hope both my modems are still on. Because the modems usually turn off, so right now it's not like crazy hot, but there's a low breeze with the heat. And there's no shade out here. And I found these modems turn off if they're ever exposed to conditions like this, even if I have fans running in there. It's like the ne nemesis for the modems. The young egrets, the thing flapping. Oh yeah, they're flapping like crazy. That was kind of neat, right? We could do a zoom over here and see We can, oh man, all the vultures are flying this way. Hello, vultures. Yeah, I don't know. The sun angle might not be good enough to zoom in on that island. I know there's a black crowned night heron in there, though. Man, this grass is getting, getting high, too. Should we change up our loop today? Should we go this way? Or should we do our normal loop we don't typically do out here? Right or left? I'll let chat vote. Right or left? If we go left, sometimes we see the red-shouldered hawks over there in that cell. Right, I might be able to zoom into that island and see some things again. Dr. Waters, what's up, Rams Reef? How you doing? Left hawk. Now, that's not a promise. It's just when I've seen hawks here, they've been to the left. All right, let's go left then. Typical way. I'm... I'm Perfectly cool. We'll still come through that section. Just, it'll happen later. So, there, there might not be any. It's just, when I do have seen them, they've been over here. A little brown bird just flew into back over here. I need to look. I need to know if it was what I think it was. I 
I'm gonna look out into the shrubbery here for a minute. See if anything moves. Something just flew into there that might have sparked my interest. And if it's what I think it is, it really likes to hide. Never to be seen again. <laughs> It wasn't on cam. Nope, I don't see anything moving in there. I think it was a least bittern, but don't know for sure. It could have been a female grackle flying through. I just saw a little brown potato flying into the foliage right there, all the shrubbery. And these things like to hide pretty well. And it doesn't help that that's all brown, so it blends right in. Shrug. Yes, pizza. I did think that. What was that call? Did you hear that? I was like, rah, 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 rah. what were you? Maybe I should have. Hang out here for a second. I don't know. Red winged blackbird. Jack, add a red winged blackbird. That's the and Hinga over there. There it is. There it is. You see it flying? No way. It's going out into the thickness. No way we find that. But that's what it was. Two tone and had long trailing legs. That one flying looks like it did. Got a, had a little white stripe kind of down the side. But it flew off into the super thickness where there's no way I'd see it down there. Right there. That one wasn't one. I wasn't saying the other one looked more like it. Yep. <laughs> Dang, those are difficult. Live on Twitch, watch Doc run back and forth trying to find a least bit urn. So exciting. They're so elusive.
Oh. Okay. I know we've had some flying osprey shots, but I don't think we've had a perched one yet. Y'all want to see a nice perched osprey? By the way, who's everyone rooting for in the Euro final tomorrow? Italy or England? I'm a bit mixed. Like, I can root for Italy, but it's also nice to see England, it'd be nice to see England win, but I also don't want to see England win to deal with everyone saying, screaming, it's coming home. But maybe once it comes home, do you think they'll stop saying it's coming home? Or will it change to it came home? Oops. Whoever wins, we lose. So like, I wanna, I'm kind of rooting for Italy because it's coming home is really annoying. But like, sometimes I root for places based on which has better food. And I do eat a lot of pasta, but fish and chips is pretty damn good too. I just don't make it a lot. I just don't make it on my own. Fish and chips is something I order out. Pasta is something I make at home. So like, like last night I had penne pasta. And I don't eat um, English breakfast. I don't drink much tea. I feel like I do more Italian things in my life than British things when it comes to food. But like it's, like there, Ava said go Italy, and it's fun to root against her sometimes. So that would be a reason, reason to root for England. What's up, Nocturnal? <laughs> yeah, there's an osprey over there. Sorry, I didn't introduce it yet. But yeah, got ourselves an osprey. Technically, what's well, technically an eastern osprey, no, or western osprey. There's an eastern and a western osprey. I always just say osprey because I forget. I think it's based on hemisphere, right? <laughs> it is fun to root against you, though. It's always fun to root against teams um, if you're watching something with friends. Isn't that the hook-billed northern penguin? Yeah, exactly. Here we have a penguin, uh, the Florida penguin. Um, oh, Captain Jack, take a picture. It looked right at us for the picture. Don't you bop me. No, it didn't take a picture. There's Ostra Asia. Oh, Captain Jack, take a picture. Oh, uh, this is 3,000 millimeters. Probably at 3,000, I think the F stops eight. Yeah, it is doing a little side head weave, isn't it? Look at those talons. Let's see, display. Uh, yeah, we're at 3,000 millimeters here. F, uh, shutter speed, one, 250, F stop is eight. Yes, yeah, so it's Western. Western. Yep. Is it screen capturing? Yeah, yeah. So it takes a screenshot of the scene in OBS. Look at the, look at that head movement. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Well, the monopod will be shakier than this. At 3,000 millimeter zoom, you're gonna have shake. That little bit of Florida wind right there. A little bit of Florida wind causes shake. Cause look at this cam um, when we're zoomed in here. So that's, that's 3,000 millimeter zoom right there. And look, it doesn't look like anything's moving right there, but there's shake just sitting like that. And even if I put a weight going down like that. Well, that just collapsed the legs. Um, they're still shake. 
that's just 3,000 millimeter zoom. That's why, you know, professional cameras aren't really 3,000 millimeter zoom for a reason. No, I'm not going to hang my bag from the center. Yeah, same with, same with telescope. Telescope people understand. If you don't have a telescope on like an anti-shake system, you're going to get a little shake. <laughs> Good morning, boss. How are you doing? I get you. Thank you, Rams. Some people can understand the shake. When some pass it was greater. So my head movement the birds play a bigger role than eye movements. Ooh. I mean, look at an owl. So um, their cervical vertebrae are actually round. The, um, the holes where the spinal cord goes, the uh, vertebral foramen is what it's called. And ours, the cervical is a little bit more triangular. So when you try to turn a triangular vertebrae, it can pinch. When you turn a circular one, you can turn that head further. Also, the, um, there's a superior and inferior process that links to the next vertebrae above and below, and that has to be different as well in birds. Look who woke up. 9.50 a.m. Just carry around anti-vibration mat and wind foil. <laughs> the, anti the only anti-vibration mat I know of are like air tables for an SEM <laughs> or an AFM. Like our AFM was on an, uh, an air table. That didn't work. So whenever I was doing an AFM image, I couldn't move. <laughs> and I had to breathe very slowly <laughs> for 15 minutes. Twice the number of vertebrae, we do too, in their neck. We have seven. Really, I didn't know about that one, Deep Blue. Unless they bob their heads. Cosmic, I'm not sure. Because we use both our eyes. Yeah, no, that would make sense. Because uh, both our eyes are important for depth perception and processing of 3D images. And it's because our eyes are forward. Birds have eyes on the sides. So it's probably... They probably can't process and form 3D images because of that. Because, you know, two eyes for us are really important for depth perception. If you close one eye, you can still grab things, but your depth perception is slightly off. <laughs> I heard the TTS lady. Did you guys hear TTS lady when that person walked by? I'm getting flashbacks on my, my drive to Pennsylvania now. <laughs> underscore, 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 underscore. I don't wake up and immediately get up. Wait, what do you, do you like exercise? What? And you exercise without being like on your phone and turning or your tablet and turning Twitch on? Short of a set tripod with a hard lock mount, you're going to have a shimmy and shake, and at 3,000 zoom, you're going to need a slab of concrete to mount the reduced shimmy. I know, right? Close one eye and bob your head. Exactly. Cl close one eye, and... Well, also, eyes are important for balance as well. So if you're trying to balance on one leg, you close one eye, or you close both eyes, it's harder to balance. Introduce the atmospheric, yes. So Florida also has a lot of heat waves being released. So that heat causes some atmospheric distortion as well. So Florida, you have to look through way more atmosphere than other places. That's why um, some of the best observatories are above the clouds. <laughs> So you can actually see the heat. if I'm zoomed in far and straight across, you can see the heat radiating up and when I'm super zoomed into something. That's a Florida thing.
active optics mirror to put behind lenses. <laughs> the thing is, I can't add anything to the Nikon. It is what it is. Oh, 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 what are you? Come on, land for me. Nope. Looks like a type of saddlebags, but not 100% on it. Yeah, there is a toast out here today. I am feeling the toast. Is it hot enough to produce a mirage? Sometimes I, I feel like I see birds out here that aren't there Just once I zoom in. I'm going to go experience shade for a second. Oh, there's a butterfly. Oh. The butterfly didn't land. No. I'm going to hang out here for a second. See if anything appears. You can't add anything with that attitude. What's up, Eric? How you doing? Too bad there's nothing to look at here. What if there was just a massive gator right down there looking at me? Yeah, usually the hawks are in those trees right there. So no hawks today, Rams Reef. Biggest bone in the body. <laughs> Ooh, might be a decent shot of this red-winged blackbird over here. Might be able to skim through these branches. Unless these people scare it, which they might. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, I have a thing in my way. And it's about to fly off. There we go. Nice red winged blackbird right there. Good colors right there when the uh, thing blows away. But let's see, I might. Let's see which one's blowing in. It's that leaf right there. Good um, angle on it, sun angle wise. To get that that color. Uh, you might feel there's a dr these are all the same type of dragonfly right in here. Oh, flew away. We've we've seen those ones. All right, I think some other people want to come enjoy the shade too. So I'm gonna move on. Oh, never mind. They walked away. They're real awkward. They came up. They like stood behind me looking out to see what I was doing, and then they just stood there silently. And I was like, uh. Singing skill. You saying that isn't beautiful? Oh, pizza. So rude. So rude. There's a big. Is that a, is that a fish crow? Yeah, listen to it. <laughs> Judging red winged blackbirds. So mean, pizza. That's like me calling black vultures ugly. 
I know they were they were some lurkers. <laughs> it, just, it was so awkward. Like, did you hear me? Like, I I got like a little awkward in my voice <laughs> right there because <laughs> I was standing under there, and two people walk up behind me, and they just stand there. <laughs> They didn't say anything. <laughs> they were in under there with me. And I was like, uh. <laughs> For a few minutes and you will understand. <laughs> Red winged blackbirds do, are very vocal though. They do like their songs. Oh, blackbirds are smart, yeah. Ravens are like geniuses, apparently. I don't think I've ever heard of a yellow-headed one. They're not around here, are they? One of these days, I'm going to go travel and bird and travel in different parts of the country. I don't know, world. I'm not sure about that one yet. And I'm going to have no idea what I'm looking at. This cloud that just moved in is nice, but clouds sometimes mean rain. Those two glossy ibises flying by. Maybe we can get one on cam. If they land up here. No guarantee, though. What's up, Procyon? How are you doing? Oh, there's a Halloween pennant. See if it lands. They're flying away again. We haven't seen a little blue heron yet today either. Weird. Oh, dang it. It's not here anymore. Oh, it went down there. I don't know if it's going to land. Whoa. Ram, are you here, Ram? Ram's Reef. Attention, Ram's Reef. We've had a creeper here this entire time. Yellow warbler. I don't know. I've seen yellow rumped or yellow throated. Remember how I said this is where the red shouldered likes to hang out? Boom. It's been lurking here the entire time. It blended in with this tree. There's our focus. Captain Jack, take a picture. Uh oh. You're pale pizza. Jack, add a red-shouldered hawk. What's up, commentator? Let's get to play bridge. Oh, there's big gators out here. We'll find gators by the end easily. Primarily reptile and amphibian eaters around here. I bet they eat like, I wonder what, I'm not sure what their diet is here. I've seen them eating a, were you here when that one was swallowing a snake and the snake tail was coming out of its mouth? Um, another one was eating other baby birds, which was sad. I tried not to show that on camera. It swooped in, grabbed some baby blue jay, grabbed the baby blue jay and ran off with it. And the blue jay parents were not happy. Here are the glossy ibises about to fly by. Is that glossy ibis? I think so. 
They've been flying all around. Oh, there's a person. No, those might be... I don't think those beaks are long enough for a glossy ibis, to tell you the truth. And here's our hawk, though. Focusing on the wrong thing. There it is. Oh, look at that hawk shot. Bird what? Oh, they were glossy? Okay. Samba, Samba, be in. Come see, come see. <laughs> All right, there's our hawk. Let's move on. Ten out of ten. Yeah, um, je parle français un peu très, mais, mais très mal. <laughs> Jack, add a glossy ibis. Yeah, these, the red-shouldered hawks really like this spot right there. Do I actually speak French? No, no. I, in French, I said, I speak French, but very bad. I think that's what I tried saying. <laughs> Mon chien is chicken, right? You love eating chicken? <laughs> Wait, Monshian? No, that's not chicken, that's your... Wait, what? I don't think that's... Dude, that total dad, I know, right? Eats his... That's what you <laughs> You eat your dog. <laughs> I was like, Shion's dog, what? I wanted it to be chicken. <laughs> but yeah, I took uh, three years of French in high school, and then I went to France before, but... So I can order a baguette with ham, cheese, butter. I can order an omelette du fromage. The joke worked. Gutter grind, thanks for the follow. Land. Nope, it flew away. It landed. No, it didn't. Nope, it's not going to cooperate. I think it was a pond hawk. I can't speak it. Wee wee back at <laughs> And then I uh, moved to a different town where they had no French program. My French class turned into how to make different spitball. Wow. Because half a croissant is butter. True. <laughs> Yeah, I love eating croissants just plain with nothing. Maybe a little bit of like jam on it. But like I can down just plain old croissants. You don't I don't need to put anything on it. Alright. 
This is jumpy, but we might get a landing if we're lucky. So I'm gonna set up here and hope it stays for us. Look at that blue color. There's an ant behind it too. Let me get the focus just a little bit better. Got that green head. I'm, I wanna guess this is Eastern Pond Hawk. And since it's blue, so there's a blue one and a green one. I think the blue one is male, the green one is female. Might be wrong there. Oh, there's a better focus. Captain Jack, take a picture. Try it one more time. Captain Jack, take a picture. No! I screwed it up. Shucks. Oh, right there it is. Ready? Captain Jack, take a picture. You're an alien. There we go. <laughs> that time we got it. Anyone watching in the Discord's like, what's going on? That's the one I was trying to yell at to land earlier. <laughs> Poor Captain Jack. Blue is male. Okay, sweet. Say magnificent. What's up, amateur? What's up, chill time? I want to jeep that color. Dragonflies are neat. Yeah. You're sick. Jam on it, now I have that song. <laughs> All right, so, oops, I don't want to time anyone out. Oh, chat froze on me. I hope I didn't ban anyone. If I banned anyone, uh, can I might unban them? There we go. Perfect adult male, even size of thorax are prunescent. Perfect. I'm captain now. <laughs> Jeeves, thanks for the follow. We haven't seen the limpkin yet. Usually you hear the limpkin before seeing the limpkin. No one's been banned. All right. I wasn't sure. Uh, the screen popped up saying someone might have been banned and then it froze on me. Gallinules are so loud. I think the dragonfly work on his legs. <laughs> talk crap about Jack. I know, right? We like to talk crap on Jack. I wonder if this still works. Jack, did you escape? Does he run across the screen? Or was it... Captain Jack, did you escape? Maybe it was that one. 
Oh, it, <laughs> it might have worked. Oh, what were you? It's got two little white tail feathers. It landed right up here. Oh, there goes another one. So the, the tail had two white sides with brown in the middle. Then they're hiding in the thick grass down here. Oh, we're going to do things. I don't know what you all are saying. Could have been a female red winged blackbird. Meadowlarks? Oh, neat. It landed down here. Let's see. I'm going to be very, very quiet. I haven't caught a metal lark on stream before. I know they're out here. But they don't seem to be. Oh, there it goes. Landed right in there. <laughs> and they sneaky. Should we attempt to walk very, very slowly up to this spot? Might be a little dizzy, but I do know where it is now. down in there somewhere. Good morning, David Alexander. There goes one. But the other one. see it. Dang, they invisible. It landed like right in here. Did it fly away and I missed it? <sighs> Shucks, I'll switch cans back. Yeah, we're looking for uh, Eastern Meadowlark. Was it Eastern Meadowlark? I thought it went right down in here. Oops. Maybe I missed it fly away? I don't think so, though. It's doing a great job at hiding. No 
no metal lock. Well, now I know to look at them a little better. A goat or duck on the road? None. All right. Let's move on. I guess it got me. It must have flown away when I was checking something. Yeah, but there were two metal larks right there. A painted bunting, I have. I get those in my backyard at certain times of the year. No, I, don't, I haven't seen them in a while. Last I've seen them was probably February. No, a little after that, March, probably. Back when I first built my bird feeder, I got some. Yay yeah, or nay on gator? Want to see a gator or don't care? It's right there. I can zoom in on it. Go for it. All right. If you haven't seen a gator yet. Here's your gator tax. I'm gonna super zoom in to scare you all. Which doesn't really scare you if I just told you I'm gonna super zoom in. You ready? Dirtum, 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 Yeah, it just chills there. Doesn't really do much. There's your gator tax. Nope, not a dinosaur. Not a dinosaur. Dinosaurs are birds. So you can say that whenever we look at a bird, but not technically a gator. Oh no, I can't read your name, but thank you for the follow. You would flee, why? Super far away, it's not even next to the bank. Look. So. We are right here. Gator is right down there. If you're looking at picture in picture right now. It's actually pretty far away. Oh, I thought it was gonna go under and be lurk. What's up, Tom? No, you're scary. Gators aren't scary. So mean the gators are just misunderstood. All right, phone, I got it. Which fish is best, crocs or gators? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's just chilling. Oh, there's a very angry 
a little blue heron behind me. Oh no no, that's gator. No crocos here. No fear. Seventy two thousand seven hundred eighty four cheered. X one hundred. That's Caitlin in T H R morning. Top of this. Hides. <laughs> I'll wait until the DTS to say it for me. I think this is a fish crow. Hard to tell unless you hear him call, though. No fear, seventy-two thousand seven hundred eighty-four cheered. X one hundred. That's Caitlin in T H R morning. Hide. Yeah, you should hide. I think that's a fish crow. Fish crow and American crow. You kind of have to hear their calls to really tell the difference. The um. The fish crow is more like a ah uh, ah, uh, and the American is more a ka ka. So, there's a purple tint to the fish crow as well. Sometimes, but they're tough. Pizza sent me something once about the difference between fish crows and American crows. I forget all the finer points. Can we hear that again? I didn't catch the difference. Oh, the difference between fish crows and American crows? Yeah. So, um, so fish crows are more like, ah, ah, and American crows are more like, ka, ka. Like an, uh-huh. Okay, nice. <laughs> of course, I know you, you missed my first statement and you were just trying to re-educate yourself on the difference there to better understand it so you can tell the difference yourself when you're doing your own IDing. <laughs> Cocky. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, the mod checker might not have allowed that. Okay, I'm going to unplug this phone because it's quiet out here today and you can hear the charge and uncharged sound. I wish it wouldn't do that. Ugh. Yeah, they still have it mowed out here in like two weeks. Let's see what little ducks we have out here. That's a fish crow. Crows deeper, really a Hungarian crows. I never heard of those ones. These might be um, some more gallinules, but won't know until I zoom in. Check them here. There are gallon, you'll still show them. But. but right here we have another common gallon. you seen one of these earlier. Looks like it's just waddling right there, giving itself a little bath in the morning in the muck. Because that's what I want to do. There were some other ones. Look at all the dragonflies. Over here, it looked like there might have been some babies moving about. Oh, oh look at these. Look at those little adorable fluff balls.
Look at the little red heads on them. Oh, there's Happy Parent. It's sad, usually they get eaten a lot. They're easy uh, prey for like hawks and whatnot. Especially when they're that young. They're still being fed by the parent right there. Well, I never heard of that, TJ. Oh, the sun on my side is boiling me. I think that was all of them right there. Neat. We have a butterfly. Golf Frito Larry, come back. I just got you in focus. That splashed. You can see the uh, silver white spots underneath it there. Golf fritillary butterfly. Harley, no. Get that tan. No, Ava, I'm too tan. And do you know what kind of tan I get out here? I have a tan line from this hole on what holds my chat. And that hole right there where my arm fat pops out, that gets burnt. <laughs> Those dragonflies were? Oh yeah, uh, some dragonflies just um, latch onto others and they move around that way. Rosette uh, spoonbills, yeah. I haven't seen any today though. Usually they're out here though. Sometimes they're hiding in the uh, inner parts of the islands, so they're tough to see. Because I don't go out much in the sunlight um, when I'm not streaming. So my tan lines are mostly stream based. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they like piggyback on each other. There it is. It went down into the grass, but you hear that? Bird rage, limpkin. called tandem sign is super deadly yeah twitch vampire no you're a twitch vampire are you a metal lark moving through there No way I'll be able to see that. Why is your dog not with you at this time? Free Watson? Oh, Watson wouldn't be, um, he wouldn't enjoy it out here with me and my camera gear. It'd be difficult. <gasps> Treat for Watson. I think you're the first redemption for that today, Ava. Oh. 
Oh, what are you soaring over there? Swallowtail kite. Let's see where it goes. Very rarely do you find one of these perched. They're always flying high up. <laughs> Thing, oh, that, it moves. I'll try. We're not gonna see anything perched though. This is gonna be a flying shot. We need more. Make fire by right, no, I don't wanna make a fire out here. Y'all wanna see the flying swallowtail? be tough but light might be decent enough for it unless it flies off that way never mind let's see where it ends up more treats if we get all five in we can go give treats now yeah it's too far off now even with my zoom. But there was one over there. You just have to trust me on it. Oh, I'm always enjoying these safaris. These are my favorite streams. I know most of you like the metal detecting ones more. My favorite, though. Come on, land. Land. Let me get a better look at you. Oh no, that's just um, a green eastern pond hawk. It looks like a damn something different. Treats are sold out. Give treats. The horse that won the derby. I did not. Thank you for the follow, Tom. Is it treats time? Are we ready to go wake up Watson from his nap? Hoof hearted. Wow. That's a good name though. Where are the bird rage? There it is. The treat train. There we go. That's the kind of, you know, we, Twitch has scam trains. Treat trains are so much better. There's something yelling over there. Great or pintailed. Hmm, it already flew away. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's <laughs> you ready for this? Look at him. He's pathetic right now. <laughs> he has a couch. This is his couch. I got him his own couch, and he lays right there. Let's wake him up. <gasps> Treats, I guess. The magic treat machine. Yeah, floor is definitely cooler. He like he likes laying on the floor sometimes. And there's five. <laughs> I 
I think a meadowlark just flew off too. Best use of technology ever. <laughs> Good boy, Watson. Watson says thank you. Should I say hi to him? Hi, Watson. Watson. Oh, it froze. Hi, Watson. I'll give you one more treat. Oh, it's freezing. It didn't like me doing that. Well, it's not liking this. It's bugging out. It's bugging out. And the treat was just on his nose. All right, yeah, so it's even jumping on my phone right now. All right, so bad network right here for it. Let's switch back. Poor connection, lower the resolution in Furbo settings. But yeah, that is a Furbo. I think community, a community member for sending that to me when I moved into my new place. So we could do treats for Watson. So, I don't know if it was more of a gift for me or a gift for them and for the community so we could do things like that during stream. <laughs> I think they went down in price on Amazon too. It used to be like $200 for that thing. I think it's like just a little over a hundred. It's also an indoor webcam, like not webcam, but an indoor home cam. So if you need to check on things at home, you can. <laughs> no snakes. So if you do buy one, make sure you go to Amazon via my Amazon affiliate link. Exclamation point Amazon. <laughs> Bookmark that link for whenever you do your Amazon shopping. Whatever you buy on Amazon could be small percentages, like 2% supports for the stream. So it takes a little bit less money out of Bezos's pocket and puts a little bit more money into the stream pocket. Hasn't come back yet, oh, Andrew. <laughs> Oh, the cigarette, or went out for milk. Can you control the location? Now it just shoots them out. Randomly. Yeah, so you know, you all know how you shop everything on Amazon, and you have every, you know, you have Amazon bookmarked, for when you go to Amazon, just change that bookmark URL to that. And whatever you buy on Amazon, does small ways to support a stream. And then next time you're over at your parents, you can change their bookmark to that too. And then they'll be secretly supporting me as well. And it's like everything you purchase, I get like a really tiny percent. It's not like we all don't use Amazon anyway. And you all know how I don't like you subscribing here and things like that. Um, but if you're buying stuff on Amazon already, you're planning to spend that money already. So it's an easy way to support the stream where I don't feel bad. Speaking of cool content, don't fly away. You ready for this? Loggerhead Shrike. Yeah, no. Rams Reef, I missed those 25 bits. Let's see if we can get an angle here. Or it turns his head. Captain Jack, take a picture. I hope we got that turn right there. A little shadowy on the eye. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, they like keep it on the fence, barbed wire, things like that. There we go, it just flew off. Always cool to see a loggerhead shrike though. Ooh, it just chased a cardinal off down there. Gant, thank you for the follow. 
but yeah, um, Mike convinced me. Now he's now he's calling me out for shilling. Go figure. But yeah, he convinced me to set up an Amazon affiliate link. Since you all know I don't like pushing for subscriptions and stuff uh, because I don't like you spending any extra money on me. But if you're already buying something and then I can get like a random small percent of it, eh, so be it. I won't. That won't make me feel bad. <laughs> and it's only Amazon um, US based, not uk.nl.ca. I'm not setting up all those doors. Sorry, everyone. Foreigners have to subscribe if they want to support me. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, exactly. That's, you know, when you explain that to me, I'm like, all right, this makes sense. I don't mind setting this up. And it's not like a specific product as well. Um, I'm very picky about if I would be sponsored by specific products like the coffee sponsorship. I like being sponsored, like, you know, I like supporting that company, Artsan. And it's also great coffee. It's the coffee I drink daily. I would never um, be partnered with something like that for something I didn't use and love on my own. But that link is nice because it's anything you buy on Amazon that you need. <laughs> it's not any amazon.com and supporting capitalism in a smaller free market most of my viewers are european because i'm usually doing uh european friendly streams Far from the netherlands too as big as a car eating that cardinal it just flew at the tree there was a cardinal in. I saw the red flash of the cardinal. I don't think it was attacking it. <laughs> Pitching coffee too. I mean, I've already pitched coffee. That's the only partnership I have is the uh, coffee partnership. I think that's a female grackle, but I'm gonna zoom in quick to make sure. Yeah, sounds like it. His bath water, would you buy my bath water? I feel like you would. Yep, female grackle, I don't need to. Zoom in on that. We've seen those today. I like how Twitch has rolled out follower emotes too. So um, you don't have to subscribe to use emotes. There's a couple follower emotes you can use. Oh yeah, so like right now I pretty much break even with stream expenses. Actually, no, I'm negative right now, but you know, I enjoy doing this, so. Like reoccurring fee wise, just the fees each month, probably. Just for data, bonding, all that sort of stuff, all the side. I do run, I have transferred most servers to my home network, which saved a little bit of money, but probably a, a solid $150 to $200 a month just in subscription fees to output the stream. And I, that's usually what I make off subs and whatnot. So breaks even for that. Covers, y'all pay for my, my data, which is convenient. If you're not here, you'd have to hang out with Psycho more than I would be able to talk to him. <laughs> sure, he's out of town this weekend too. But he didn't ask me to watch his cat because he didn't want to bother me. 
Well, that's a, I think he knew I was watching other pets this weekend, so that would have been a lot. But yeah, and all these little stream upgrades I've done, um, anything extra that I make from stream, well, you all know it goes, goes to that stuff. Holy cooter. You see this cooter right there? Is that a Suwanee cooter turtle? Nope, too much zoom. Back it up just a little bit. Look at those eyes. Captain Jack, take a picture. You can come through. Are we good? Yeah, yeah, just look out for the turtle. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I wasn't just standing here weird for a reason. That's what we were well, I didn't know if you were yeah. calibrating something. Nope, nope, there's, uh, that's a cooter turtle, I believe. Who? Cooter turtle. Uh, it's like a style of soft shell, I believe. And you got the whole set up. Oh, yeah, I, I live stream in like a nature broadcast. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. So I have like a little mini production unit on my back. That's awesome. You're local here? Or are you yep, from? yep, I'm from the area. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Mm -hmm. So this is a great place for content. <laughs> What's so your... Is the sound happening right now? Yeah, yeah, the sound's happening. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're fine. It's what's your uh, what's your link? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Doctor WD40. Oops. Yeah, hold on. I can. In case. Oh. You. Sorry about that. Oh no, you're fine. I don't mind talking to people while I'm out here. There you go. That's Thanks, what I do. Sir. Yeah. Awesome. Do education. Space Coast. Awesome. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All kinds of fun stuff. Florida, okay, oh, so that is a Florida soft shell. Okay. Leonard, Maple Shades, thanks for the follow. -up. No worries, everyone talks to Doc. No worries, everyone talks to me. I have business cards. It's just hard to get out of my pocket. I don't have my fanny pack on to. So that's just a, a soft shell? What's the difference between that and a, uh, a cooter then? Something happened here. Ooh. Probably won't be open that link now. It'll freeze my phone. Cheered. X100. Help us, we are being held hostage in this mons chat. He is forcing us to watch birds, bugs, and now turtles. Oh. Help us, we are held hostage. No, Rams. <laughs> Bad Rams. Oh, geez, it went twice. <laughs> There's such a delay on the phone right now. Cooters are very uh, different best beastie. That did not sound like what I was digging for, but we found a nickel. Oh, no way. You say you're currently not tracking that flying bird and you're on the wrong camera. I will say that was a dollar I should return to you. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, like I was saying, 
when you do the TTS, this is a tiny little pecker right here. Let's see if we can, we can stay. It's about to fly, I think. It's about to go to the other side, isn't it? Yep. Come back. The downy. Oh, it just flew back. But we got a good enough shot of it. Yep, it's gone now. But that was the shot we were going to get of it. Then we're even. <laughs> But wouldn't that be you spending more money? Come on, $25 for 111 watts of DC volt battery output? You can't say no to that. You can't say no to that. Bill looked hairy. Yeah, it was just a quick shot, but we did get a side angle of that bill. If that was a hairy, usually we only see downies, don't we? It was smaller too. It was pretty small. Yeah, it flew off into that shrubbery over there. No way we were going to find it then. Could that be the first Harry we've seen on stream? How did that um, soft shell picture turn out? Let me check the disc rod. <laughs> Look at its eyes. Ooh, loggerhead looked good. Oh, that one. Don't lull, who lulled at that one I screwed up on? Dang, so many blue backgrounds. I need to make different backgrounds for my pictures. <laughs> I need to diversify my portfolio. Just tripped on a rock. Oh, we've been streaming a while. Captain Jack, what's my uptime? And get fat. <laughs> Are you out running right now? Janet, thank you. Taking a drink right now. Thanks for the reminder. No, to make that chicken nugget emote, I'd have to go buy a box of dino nuggets just to have something to take a picture of to turn into the emote. Because <laughs> if you notice, my emotes are turning into things I take pictures of now. <laughs> my emotes aren't art emotes. <laughs> They're things I crop out of pictures I've taken. Do you guys like the new heart, by the way? Did you notice the heart change? So nerd love is different and regular love is different. Oh, I guess, so I could make the regular love a follower emote as well and just make it Dr. WDL, I guess. And then the sub one can be love because the emotes need a different name. So which follower emote should I remove? Remake into a sub emote described. and put the heart as a follower or followers right now. Are there any subscriber emotes except the animated ones because I can't change those that you'd want to use here? Lurkster, thanks for the sub. Holy cow. 
Thank you for being a lurkster, and thank you for the sub. Thank you for the support. Yeah, so Watson is there. I like you guys having Watson. And I have Watson Arrive to use other places, and I have Watson 2 to use other places as well. Oh no, my phone crashed. Phone is getting hot, I think. So I might have lost uh, chat there for whatever you might have said. Yep, I lost all of chat. I'm sorry. I don't know if it will load on my other phone. Nope, it only loads recent chat. Shucks. Would I fail? All right, we're back now. Um, no fear gave ten bits for something. Oh, you're a pro streamer. No fear seventy two thousand seven hundred eighty four cheered. X one hundred. No tally. What are you talking about? No tally. King was redeemed. What king was redeemed? I didn't have chat on. You're all... There's no sweat on the phone. No talking. Will someone start a timer? Pookie, did you already start the timer? Here, look. It's 1101.33. When should I start? <laughs> Good one, Tom. I know Pookie likes to run a timer. So, I can start with that start. Oh, you did. Okay, well, can you stop it and restart it? Because I didn't know that was redeemed. Who redeemed it? We're done. Okay, so who did redeem that? That's the fun thing about free will, John. You can choose whatever you want. <laughs> Not what you come here for. Oh, it's all good, Moose. We still love shouting you out. <laughs> No, no chat control dog zapper. Pretty sure that would be Twitch TOS. <laughs> Who uprights a traffic cone? I did, it was down. 
easier for the people to move when they come by. Just hanging out over here. <laughs> Have fun, John. <laughs> Oh, two cents. Dog is that one bear who ever <laughs> It was just fixing it. It was not correct. That's chilling over here. Ah, oh, those are just tricolored herons. We've seen those. Yep. Yep. Moving on. I don't know if I'll walk all the way down and around today. I don't know, Tom. Something that's a phrase that sounds like something else. And makes you go and exhale a <laughs> through your nose as laughter. A no I dear. <laughs> By a second phone. <laughs> Call it blind. Yeah, sounds blind. So let's check out the butterfly garden. I don't think I'm going to be able to have time to do that whole loop down through there. Captain Jack, check up time. I forget if it's check up time or what's my up time. There it is. Yeah, two hours, 53 minutes. I am dog sitting, so got to get back around home around noonish, and it's like a 30 minute drive for me to get here. So that whole loop down and around will probably take another hour. Not much. How about you? You got all the jokes today, Tom. You've been waiting to unleash these on a streamer. That's super cool to see that loggerhead and maybe that hairy woodpecker. All right, Ava, have a good one. Do you have to go stream? Are you gonna be a raid option for me? Or you're probably going out to party. Since you're allowed to party again. Let's see. If any butter... Ooh. I think there's something down here. little something in here. A few things we can zoom in on. Making dinner. All right. <laughs> and clubs are closed again. Wait, your clubs were open like a week. Did you just admit to being old? Was that a, that's a first. Okay. I know this butterfly has a really simple name, but I always forget it. Oops. Oh, this one, it moved far away this time. Stay. There's a bee back there too. What do you call a scary bee? Tom, Tom, this one's for you. Tom, what do you call, what do you call a scary bee? Everyone's going, cheese. A bumbus. It's a boo bee. <laughs> Is that on par with your jokes, Tom? Is that good enough? It, 
It moves too fast for me. It doesn't stay still. It doesn't stay still. Oh, there is, the sign says Passiflora incarnata, but that is not a Passiflora incarnata right beside it. This kind of, no, that doesn't look like one. I don't see a Passiflora incarnata right there. <laughs> I do not see that right there. Oh, there's a white butterfly back there. moving around. Hold on. I'm going to switch back for a second and reset here. I might go. Remember what the shade looks like. Next one. <laughs> oh, uh, Ava streams, she does outdoor cycling in the Netherlands and also GeoGuessr streams. <laughs> Tom, that was terrible. What did Zelda say to Link when he tried opening the stuck door? I don't know. A cabbage white. That's a fire bush. That's an actual native one with the reddish leaves, too. I'm just directly in the sun right now, so. But yeah, I do not see, because this one's not Passiflora right here, is it? That's not Incarnata. I don't see any Incarnata in here. There's no vine structure for it to grow on, really. I mean, that's technically a trestle. But I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. This is the Passiflora incarnata right here. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's it right there. That hoof print style leaf. Yeah, I think that's that's it. Make you, oh, you are colorblind, Moose. Didn't know that. All these creatures have crazy names, and here I am, Meat Popsicle Mike. A trifoliate leaf. That's, that's the Incarnata, right? There's another one over here, maybe. There's another trifoliate. Nothing's blooming to show flowers on it, though. Yeah, I don't see any of it blooming. Oh, there's a white peacock butterfly that just showed up, too. Oop. So much nature. Wonderful, I know, right? Trifoliate leaf is a new term for me. I just call them dinosaur prints. Fine. Red-winged blackbird, you don't have to scream at me. Jeez. Here's an Indian blanket flower. Oh, there's some tropical salvia right behind it too. So right here, this is tropical salvia. And then this one right here is blanket flower. Salvia cocinia, I think is the scientific term for tropical sage. Might have that backwards, that's close. Here's another one right there. Mine in my garden blooms very, very well. It's like taking over the garden pretty much. This one, this purple one, is basil-like right there. Oh, we lost our shade spot. A dog is borrowing it, which is okay. No, we don't take pictures of the humans. That's inappropriate. I do see some clouds starting. 
which means the rain is going to be starting. Good old Florida. Sucks I can't uh, do West Coast friendly streams. At least outdoor streams. If I do West Coast streams, they're in the evenings. And I'm usually home and inside. Florida summer, every afternoon. There's a too high chance of rain to do anything outside. I'll walk over to this uh, little hut here first before walking back out and around. Birds are seeming to quiet up now that it's getting hotter out. Captain Jack, check weather. Texas loves Florida. Ooh, that cloud feels nice. Lightning and fires, but no rain. I hope, I hope there's no fires. Is it still that dry there? Fires in Florida. Something is going very wrong with the weather thing. Oh, did the um, overlay change for it where it doesn't load? Hold on, let me, I can, let me turn it on here. Because uh, this is, I want to see it. Let me pull up stream here for a second. Oof, there it is, there it shows. It just takes a little bit to load in because it's got to load, load that source. Showed part of a map. Yeah, because when it loads the source, it, it does show a map there, yeah. Sometimes it can do that. Should be okay though. Right. Yeah, I don't know why sometimes it loads slow like that. Or it jumps around the different spots. Another golf for the Larry flying around there. I don't think it's going to land on anything, though. No? Alright, I just want to go under here. Sometimes we see some spiders and stuff under here. What are you? Oh, look at these. Here's something new. Oh, I know what these are, but the name is escaping me right now. I'm having a brain fart. They're not ones we see out here all the time. Please hydrate. Am I breathing heavier?
here is what I'm looking at. These are stilts. Oh yeah, oh that, that could work too. I think about the weather one though, it needs to be updated. Okay, stilts. What's the uh, full name? They're like long-legged stilts or like something like that. I like the little white patch they have above their eye there. It's because I never caught these on cam. Captain Jack, take a picture. It's not like super scenic or anything like that. Just haven't gotten them before. A black wing stilt. Oh yeah, yeah, I usually have everything as a separate source. Yeah, or like a whole scene. Black wing stilts. Worlds first. Streams first. So they hang out in these little groups, apparently. Neat, neat, neat. Cool one to see. Okay, I'm gonna go see what the shape feels like for a second. These Nhingos might scream at me. Ah. Oh. I don't think I've said hello to everyone, have I? So this will be my uh, face reveal for the day. Black neck stilts. Ooh, technically. What does it say on eBird? All right. Y'all want the doc reveal for the day? Boom. Four, five, five. <laughs> it does take minor differences in the spelling, but already we should be good here. I think it might be a little shady in here, but we'll see. Alrighty, we should be on the GoPro now. What's up, everyone? Thank you for hanging out today. I appreciate your support. Um, yeah, we've seen a lot of cool stuff here. This is the uh, once a stream face reveal, you know, I do sometimes. Now that I have this GoPro and HDMI setup, it can work pretty well. Something screaming at me in this bush right here. But yeah, thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed some of this nature today out here at the wetlands. Always lots to look at out here. Um, so yeah, thanks for the support. And you being here is all that matters. You don't have to subscribe, give bits, or anything like that. Don't feel pressured if other people in chat are doing it. You don't have to do that here. If you want to use emotes, uh, you can just, I made them as cheap as possible to unlock with your points and all that fun stuff. So feel free to use them. There's also the follower emotes. You can use them as well. Oh yeah, I did ask you all um, if I were to add <laughs> follower or change the follower emotes what sort of ones would you want oops I think the HDMI came unplugged there when I moved let's try that I don't know I might have stuff on the overlay now we can come back 
Um, don't be you. I'm not, I'm not, are you leaving? I'm not done with stream yet. I'm still got to walk over to there. We might see something on the way there. So I'll leave stream run. All the lists have uh, split NA birds. It's black neck stilts, but there's a little genetic just neat. It's called the Delta. Are you at the Mississippi River Delta? Down by New Orleans? But yeah. Um, thank you all. All right, there was an Inhinga that tried landing behind me right there. But yeah, if you have any recommendations of what, if you were a follower, what sort of emote you would use in stream, feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to add it to the stream. Always like you being finding ways that you can interact and have fun, and the new follower emotes are a cool way to do that. Uh, nope, nope, not ending yet. Just in the shade here and doing, I'm not going to do a face reveal when I get to the end. So you're getting the face reveal here for the day. Um, and... Look at this backdrop. You can't really beat this, can you? Look, look at this. Let's spin, rotate around, and good. And then here, my sweaty hair. You can get that in the breeze. I don't even know why I have my sunglasses on my head. I can't wear my sunglasses and read this chat. Um, a Kool-Aid logo. <laughs> No deltas. No, let's not have any deltas this month. Um, but yeah, thank you again for being here. I'm going to switch back to the cameras now. And I just like to switch to this cam because then it makes it worthwhile to strap and carry around this whole time if I use it at least once. All right. Thanks again, everyone. Shades are for style points. Yeah, I know, right? You got to get you on that wide brim hat grind. <laughs> what do you mean, Cajun? <gasps> 10 out of 10 streaming. Thank you. Hope that's good. 10 out of 10. Branches to a thousand little streams in a big triangle shape in order to get out into the ocean. In Florida, the wetlands are just a general swampy places. Not necessarily a big triangle around. Yeah. Like the Mississippi River Delta. That's a big delta. The shade was nice. But yeah, it sucks. I one thing I don't like about doing a lot of outdoor streams is that my eyes start getting a little sensitive. I need to find glasses that aren't polarized. There's been a grackle hiding right in there. I need to find things that aren't polarized in order to um, see my chat. I can't read chat because of the polarization of the phone. Tur bird emote? Turtle emote? Yeah, what sort of bird emote? Then there's a female grackle just landed. Did something just come to the feeder? Oh. Let me set back up here. See if it stays. Ah. Oh, it just flew off. I'll see if it comes back. One second. We'll see if it comes back. If not, let me go to events. Probably about time to take these feeders down too. There hasn't been too many reports of this new songbird virus or disease that's been going around, but Probably should probably take my feeders down soon. Cornell still has their bird feed, live bird feeders up. Cornell still has their live bird feeders up in areas where it should be down. I feel like I can keep mine up. So I was about to switch over to a bird that was at my feeders at home, but they flew away, and I'm not seeing them. So. A bifold or polarized non polar? Maybe, Cajun. An eagle? We, there are already some streams that have good eagles. I don't want to take away from their eagles. So, Damien Explorers has a great eagle. And also, American Eagle Foundation has some great eagles, I believe.
Take that back. It's like um, a one related to songbirds up to the in the northeast right now. Honestly, we didn't see every single thing today, but we saw a good variety today. Um, see, the hair, if that was a hairy woodpecker, that was cool. And if we, if that one, and we saw that loggerhead shrike, which was cool too. Always cool to see the loggerhead. Um, we saw the ospreys, the hawk. Not too bad, right? Audubon is asking New England to, yeah. Yeah, and the, uh, the Cornell live feeders are in New York. Um, so they usually have a, um, a YouTube that's always playing live. So I checked that and I was surprised to see everything was still up and going. So figured they'd be pretty on top of it if they knew it was serious there. You clipped the pecker, seems hairy. <laughs> Out of context things you could say in another stream that wouldn't go as well. <laughs> the photo, yeah, some of those were really cool. Did you see they have a video part now? How cool would it be if we some, somehow get a crazy video and we win? Because we're mostly doing video stuff out here. Blue Ocean, thanks for the follow. Like I said, it was a pretty small pecker. And Harry's are smaller than Downy's, right? Uh, Cajun, some, uh, Psycho One linked the Audubon Award winners in Nature Share earlier this week. It seems like most of them were using, using Sony Alpha A9s. <laughs> well, Alpha 9s. And very, very fast shutter speeds, like one out of 5,000. But Bill's a lot smaller. Okay. Yeah, that Bill was a little larger, wasn't it? That one. Is a different butterfly right here. Let's see if it stays on the saw palmetto. That's not a golf fritillary. Come on, stay. No, it moved. It landed again. Is it there? Oh, it's being invisible. Come on, open those wings. Open those wings, you're a queen or a monarch. You know you wanna show off. I'll be patient. I think it's a monarch. But those, there's some very slight differences between a queen butterfly and a monarch butterfly. It looks like a best focus right there. See if it opens the wings. Monarch, you think so? Because yeah, I think queens have a bit more white on them, a bit more white dots, like.
So white dots are mostly on the periphery of the wings. Captain Jack, take a picture. I don't think I got it. Captain Jack, take a picture. I don't know, that one, those, some of those white specks are a little closer in. What do you think, did it get the picture with the wings open there? See more dots in the monarch. Viscerally? Wow, we're completely wrong. Okay, bye. Perfect photo. Nice. The timing's tough on those photos, by the way. <laughs> okay. We were completely wrong. <laughs> completely wrong. I wasn't even considering that one. <laughs> All these dang butterflies mimicking monarchs. <laughs> because monarchs are pretty much made from milkweed. So birds can't eat the monarch butterflies. So all these other butterflies mimic. There's a, a red-bellied woodpecker. Um, so all these other butterflies mimic monarchs. So viceroy and um, queen butterflies are similar looking to monarchs. <laughs> Look, there's a URL. Mr. Monarch butterfly lookalikes. <laughs> Mr. Brobotics, there you are. Hope you've been well. 19 months. Thank you so much. That's crazy. Viceroy. Really? It's not Viceroy? Viceroy? Is it like Star Wars and Commander Viceroy? I was wondering that. Is Viceroy from Star Wars? Is that Star Wars? Am I an idiot? Or Admiral Viceroy? I don't know if it's Commander Admiral. Oh gosh, you all are realizing I actually don't know much about Star Wars. Yeah, I don't think there's many monarchs out here because they don't grow any milkweed in those gardens and I haven't seen any milkweed out here. Oh, uh, it's a naval rank. But isn't that also, in, isn't there someone named that in Star Wars? He's like a little alien dude or something? In Star Trek, oh no. Did I just say... Something in Star Trek was Star Wars. Oh gosh, okay, everyone's gonna unfollow me. What have I done? Okay, both did? All right, thanks, Supercation. So no one cares. Some people care a lot. So if you talk poorly on Harry Potter, um, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Star Trek, people get pretty ragey with you sometimes. Like, Lord of the Rings was a fun watch, but once you realize they could have ridden the eagles, it's like, really, really? You really made Frodo walk that far. Boromir didn't have to die. All he had to do was jump on an eagle. <laughs> Viceroy uses willow, really? 
don't think I have any willows around my house. They couldn't have ridden the eagles. <laughs> I've ever thrown. <laughs> you really, you threw your book at that scene? And then they brought the eagles back in um, The Hobbit. Well, technically the eagles were before that then, but you know, you saw The Hobbit after, they brought the eagles back then. <laughs> Alrighty. We are at the end here. Let's put the camera on the Anhinga. Showing off its wings as our end scene today. I bet battery will say exhausted too. I don't know how battery didn't die yet, actually. That's because Harry Potter is a historical documentary. See, people get up in arms. Especially when you like go to Universal Studios and you say, man, I don't really care about Harry Potter world. Or you're like, if you're t taking a girl there on a date, you have to like pretend like, oh yeah, Harry Potter's so cool. I love Harry Potter. All right, here's an Nhinga. Let's see who's online. Captain Jack, execute the end of stream. So yeah, apparently the reasoning behind it, eagles only come in extreme times of emergency when you deserve them the most. But everyone there on my socials, feel free to join the Discord, do all that. All these pictures we take on stream today, like when I do this. Captain Jack, take a picture. That output, not only does it upload the um, image link to uh, Imgur there and post it in chat, but it also posts a link in Discord um, for you to use as well. So, if you're in a Discord in a nature share, and if you have your own nature photos, you can share them there too. Let's see who's online. Hmm. Do you guys want to go to an aquarium? Okay, I want to know how you bought to Discord. That is a question for Pookie. <laughs> That's a question for Pookie. Pookie did that one. So the bot pulls the Imgur link from chat whenever it does an uh, Imgur.com from my username and then posts whatever that statement is in a Discord channel. <laughs> okay, so, oh, uh, Marley's is out cycling in Vienna. My friend Ash Vandelay, we went to college together, she started streaming, she's playing The Witcher 3, I've never rated her, that could be a funny, a funny one. Um, Rams Reef is a 24-hour stream at the aquarium, and they're a good supporter here, uh, so that's another good option. Go Girl is on. Um, Vineo, Mikey, all right, those are the options. Do we, I've never, I never rated her, and I don't think Twitch knows that we actually know each other IRL. So, let's go there. Let's make sure she's streaming. And she's a newer streamer. Yeah, it looks like she's streaming. So let's go there. Let's go support a friend today. How about that? We'll raid Rams Reef one of these times. I know you're here, Rams. 
Hi and bye. What's up? <laughs> and Witcher 3 trailer, not the Witcher 3, but the Witcher trailer just came out too. Um, so let's go send the Witcher to y'all. Ash Van Delay. <laughs> Are you over there now, NSYNC? There we go. She's going to be a little shocked by this. She probably never expected I'd ever raid her. So it'd be pretty funny. <laughs> it's okay. Go support a little bit. I know uh, gaming streamer, not something I always raid. Usually I raid other outdoor streamers or educational streamers, but it's always nice to support a friend too. So go over there. Uh, I was just looking at everyone online. <laughs> GD, oh yeah, GD Koo's having their big stream this weekend too. All right, thank you all for hanging out today. Hope you enjoyed uh, some of this nature content. And we shall be live again maybe tomorrow morning. We shall see. Uh, as always, weather dependent. I don't know if I'll do nature stuff or whatnot. I'll think about it today. Figure it out, see how I'm feeling. Sometimes back-to-back -back morning streams like this really make me tired. Um, so this and Hinga says bye. Thank you for the support. I thank you all for the support as well. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. And... Talk to you later. And don't forget, exclamation point, Amazon. Bookmark it. And use that whenever you go to Amazon, and I get a small percent of support. Bye. Sell out. Okay, NSYNC, give your mom that link. <laughs>